so hello everyone welcome to the another video today we are going to create this slider which is a testimonial slider as you can see it is nice and simple design as you can see and if you can see that it is fully functional slider and also it is fully responsive as you can see here and also it is a front end mentor challenge so i think you guys will love it and no more talk let's dive into the video so as you can see that i am in front end mentor website and today we are going to create this testimonial slider so let's come here and the first thing what we need to do is we need to download all the starter file so you can click it and download the file and once you have it you will have this file so let's extract it and here you can see that the extracted file so let's open it and here as you can see that all the files so we need to open it with our code editor so just drag and drop so it will open it so you can use any kind of code editor and here as you can see that all the files and let's open the desktop preview this will be the desktop preview and this will be the mobile preview as you can see also as you can see that we have this style guide that we need to follow and also we have our index file where as you can see that all the content are given so let's create two files here and the first one will be a style.css and the second one will be main.js so as you can see so come here in our index.html and just link those files so link css it will link the style.css and here let's script css sorry script source the source will be main.js so it will link all the files as you can see so now let's come to the structure as you can see that that's the design so first of all we will create a container and inside the container we will have our the slider and inside the slider we will have the slides so that will be the layout so in our body let's create a section with a class of container and in this section let's create a div with a class of slider and in this slide we will have two slide so as you can see that we have two slide and that's it that's the simple layout so in the each slide we will have two part as you can see so for the first part we will have this text and in the second part we will have this image so come here and say that div with a class of slide text and also we will have another one slide image so in the text we will have another div with a class of testimonial text actually we will not create a div let's have a paragraph only with a class of testimonial text and inside this paragraph we can paste our paragraph text here and also if you can see that under the paragraph what we have is we have this text of author as you can see so for that let's create another paragraph and let's give it a class of author author not s it should be the m so author text and here let's paste this text and as you can see that we have a different style for this ux so for that what i can do is i can wrap it with s pen so that's the all the thing that we need so one more thing so in the slide image what i need actually i need to create a image and just in the image folder i have all the images as you can see that we need to use so let's create so let's have this one and for the alternative just create img so 
that's for our slide number one so let's come here and make slide two so what we can do actually we can just duplicate our slide one we don't need this anymore and we can change the text here so let's cut it and paste it here and also the name and occupation and that's what we need for our HTML so if I open this in a live server and as you can see that that's what it is looking now and we forgot to change the image for the second slide so it will be for John so yeah it's looking good so come to the style.css and if you notice that for the first thing what I need actually I need the fonts so here we need to use our intern font so we can get the font from this URL so just come here and select 300 700 and also 500 3 5 and 700 just come here and copy the import and paste it in the top here so in the body let's apply it so the font family will be the intern font and the size will be about 32 pixel font size 32 pixel I think it should be HTML so after that if I come here as you can see that the font is already changed and the first thing what I need actually I need to remove all the unexpected gap so margin will be 0 and padding will be 0 and also box sizing will be the border box so as you can see that we don't have any extra gap here so let's come to our container so in the container what I need actually I need to say that the mean height will be 100 VH the mean height will be 100 VH and after that the width will be 100% and display will be flex and align items center and justify contents also center so as you can see it will not do anything so after that let's have a padding 30 pixel as you can see that we have a padding something about 30 pixel so looking good so as you can see that we have two slider here so this is the first and this is the second so for the S style what I can do actually I can remove or display hidden to the one of those slide so that I can style it come here in the div let's give them an individual slide something like slide 1 and something like here slide 2 so that I can grab it individually so come here and say that slide 2 will be display none and as you can see that our slide number 2 which is now display none we can't see it so now we can style the slider very easily so in the next thing what I need actually if I open our design as you can see that in the bottom what we have is we have a curve here so let's create this curve here so it will be a background image basically so background image URL design and if you can see that we have this pattern curve and if you can see in the background we have this pattern curve but it is repeating so let's say that no repeat So it is not repeating but we need to position it so background position will be in the center also in the top sorry in the bottom and background size will be in the cover 
so still we can't see it i think we should give the no repeat value in its own line so background repeat will be the no repeat so as you can see that we have this here the background curve but it is kind of bigger so because we give it the background size cover instead of cover let's say that contain so now as you can see that we have it in the background here so looking good so the next thing what we need actually we need to style our slider so in the slider let's say that the display will be the block and align items will be sorry align not align items the height will be 100% and also width will be 100% and max width about something like 850 pixel and margin will be 0 auto so if I make it bigger as you can see it is now only having 850 pixel and to make it center what I did actually the margin 0 auto so looking good so after that let's have something like position will be the relative because we will use the button if I come here as you can see that we need to position the button absolute position so for that we need the parents which is actually the slider position relative so let's come to the slide and say that the width will be for each slide the width will be 100% and display will be the flex and as you can see that now it is displaying flex but the flex direction should be column so it is looking good at now but if you can see that in our mobile design what we have is we have our image in the top of our content so what I need actually I need to make sure about the flex direction so it should be the flex direction column reverse so now as you can see that our image which is now top of our content so after that say that justify content will be the center and align items will be also center so looking good and just text align will be the center so as you can see that our text is now in center so after that come here to our slide image the slide image and here what I need actually I need to say that width will be 100% and margin will be 0 auto and let's say that height will be also 100% and give it a padding of about 40 pixel yeah looking good as you can see that we have something like this scroll bar but we don't want it so let's come here to the actual image actually and say that height will be 100% and width will be 100% of its parent so now as you can see that we don't have the scroll but as you can see we need to make a fixed width for the image so let's say that it will be about 300 pixel so now it will be fixed image sorry the width will be the 300 pixel not the height height will remain in 100% So as you can see that we have now fixed our image so in our so back to the slide image here so as you can see that in the background of our image we have this pattern going on here so let's give the pattern here so the background image the URL in the URL as you can see that image we have something like pattern background yeah, as you can see that that's the pattern background what we need to use and set the background position to the center and also background repeat no repeat and the last thing background size will be auto so as you can see that it is not looking good what I need actually 
I need to make the background size contain instead of this auto so if I give it contain as you can see that it is now looking perfect so the next thing what I need actually I need to style our this text so come here in our testimonial text So before that, I think we have another class, which is the slide text. And here I need some padding about in the top 30 pixel and display will be flex and align items will be center and justify content will be also center and also say that flex direction will be the column and let's have a background URL sorry background image so what will be the background as you can see that we have a code here the in the background we need to set it as a background of this text so for that background image URL the image we should use is pattern quotes so as you can see that we have quotes in the background but say that background repeat will be the no repeat and background size sorry and background size will be something like 80 pixel and background position will be in the top center so it is now perfectly in place as you can see so the next thing what I need actually I need to style our actual this text which is having a class this testimonial class testimonial text and here what I need actually I need to say that margin top will be about 20 pixel not margin top sorry font weight about 300 so now we have the same font weight the font size will be about 0.7 rem so looking good if I open this as you can see so let's also have a line height so the line height should be 1 rem and also give it color of about if I open our style guide as you can see that we have two color I think the color should be this dark blue so let's copy the color code and paste it here so it is looking good as we expected so now we need to style our this author text so come here say that author and let's say that the margin top will be about 20 pixel and color will be same as we used dark blue and font size will be about 0.5 frame it will be a small I think we should if I come here it is author text sorry for that so author text the class now it will work as you can see that we have now 0.5 RAM font size and also let's say that font weight will be about 700 so looking good as you can see if I open the preview as you can see that but as you know that we need to make a separate style for this occupation so for that what we did actually we did a wrap here with the span so let's call the span here and say that the span style will be the color so we need to change the color and make it this gray blue and also what I need actually I need to font size will be about it will be the same font I believe font weight let's give it 300 yeah looking good and we need to make sure that 
we have a line break here so for that we can use display block so as you can see that it is now looking good as we can see here so if i give it 500 yeah 500 is looking better i believe so after that as you can see we are pretty much done with the slider style so let's come to the buttons here so for the buttons let's get back to our html and in the end of our slider as you can see that that's the end before the end let's create another div with a class of buttons and here in the buttons we will have two different div with a class of next and also previous we will not use an image we will make the icon with the sword element in our style.css so let's come to our style.css and here for the first of all the button not button actually so first of all what i need actually i need to create those icons so that i can style it easily so button next after and also previous after so we are creating sort elements of these two dips and in the sort elements let's say that content will be nothing and display will be absolute sorry the position will be absolute the position will be absolute and also say that height will be 100 percent and width will be also 100 percent and after that we need to grab the separate div and say that the background image the url so it will be the image and as you know that we have this icon next and icon previous so for this one we need to use next and for the previous so let's duplicate it and make it previous and it will be the brief so as you can see that we have so many icons here i know it is looking weird so we need to fix it so for that let's come to the actual div of our next and previous so previous and next So what I need actually I need to position it so let's say that display will be inline block and also say that the width will be 100% and height will be 100% and also make sure that the position is now absolute and cursor is pointer so we can't see any particular change here so for that what I need to do is I need to come to the buttons and say that the position will be absolute and also we need to make a width for it so width will be 90 pixel and height will be something like 45 pixel and as you can see that now we have these buttons here but if you consider we have so many here so for that what i need actually i need to make the background where in the after and in the previous and next after i need to say that background repeat will be the no repeat so now as you can see that we can see one only icons and also make sure that other background position something like center and background size will be the contain contain or i think auto will be the good yeah so the background size will be the auto so in our buttons let's have a box shadow so that we can see it so in the box shadow so let me copy the box shadow here and paste it here so as you can see that we can see our buttons we need to make it border radius about 50 pixel yeah that's the button and 
also what I need actually I need to position it so before the position let's also have a background color white which is actually in the white and also let's say that overflow is hidden so that's the button and let's position it in the center here so top will be about 350 pixel so it is now here and also let's say that the left will be something like 50 percent but it is not perfectly center as you can see so to make it perfect center what I need actually I need to say that transform will be translate X will be minus 50 percent so now as you can see that it is now perfectly center and the last thing what I need actually I need to make sure about the icon it is not looking good now so for that what I need actually I need to separately grab the where it is the previous and next button so come here maybe after this buttons previous and need to set it left zero and also the next one will be the right zero but it is not working because we need to make sure that the previous and the next is each one having 50 and 50 percent width from this whole button so now as you can see that we have this nice buttons here so let's also give it some hover effects so in the previous hover and also the next hover I need to make sure the background color which is now will be make something like this one antique white yeah it is looking good as you can see that so perfect so the next thing what I want is actually I need to make it responsive now as you can see that it is looking like that but if I come to the desktop preview it should look like that so let's make it so for that let's come to our CSS and come here and make a media query so media only screen and mean width about 768 pixel actually pixel pixel not pixel it is pixel okay so come here and say that the slide and here let's say that flex direction so let me show now as you can see that the flex direction is column but I need the flex direction will be the row so if I give it row as you can see that now it is looking like that which we want and also let's say that text align will be left so now the text is now in the left side so after that let's come to the slide text and say that background position so as you can see that here the background is now kind of changing it is not in the center now it is now in the left side but not perfectly in the left so to do that what I need actually I need to so I can say something like 10% left or in the top so as you can see that it is here which is looking good and also if you want you can change the size also so the background size will be about something like 100 pixel yeah looking good not bad and also let's say that align items will be the flex start so this will make sure that also our this little author text should align in the left side or in the flex start so after that let's come to our this slide image and we need to make it something like 
if you can see that in our design there is some overlapping here as you can see so we can do that by easily making some negative space so let's give it some negative space in the margin left something like minus 100 pixel so as you can see that now we have this negative space but we can't see our text so to and for that we can say that z index will be minus 1 now as you can see that we have this overlapping effect so good after that let's come to the actual image slider img inside the img the image so if you notice that our image is kind of growing as you can see here so let's make it big something like width 500 pixel or 450 will work yeah 450 is looking good i think 400 is also looking good yeah let's keep it 400 pixel so looking good as you can see that so the last thing what i want actually i need to set the position for our these buttons so let's come here dot buttons and say that the top will be 450 pixel and transform will be about translate y0 and left say that 100% if I give it left 100% you can see that it is now in the left 100% but we don't want it in the left 100% we want it something like here so for that what I can do actually I can say that let's have a calculation here 100% minus about 350 pixel so as you can see that it is kind of here so if I give it something like 400 yeah it is in perfect place so if I make it bigger as you can see that it is looking like that if I making smaller it will be look like that means our design is fully responsive so the next thing what I want is actually I want to make it a slider so let's make it functional so here in our JS come to the first line and make a constant and let's actually grab the next button so let's come here document dot query selector and grab the next button and also grab the previous button so we can make a duplicate and also name it previous and also let's grab all the slide that we have so constant sliders or slides will be document dot query selector all because we will have multiple slider here so each slide should have a class of slide and that's it for our all the constant here so after that what we will do is actually let's say that whenever I will click our next button so in the next button I will add an even listener so whenever I will click it I will apply this function so let me name it so let's say that next slide and also make sure that we have this function so let's create this function so function next slide so here what we will do actually if I open our inspect here as you can see that in our not there in our container we have this slider and we have these two slide as you can see the second slide which we can't see because if I come here as you can see that we made it display none so that's what we will do whenever I will click next we will make it visible and we will display none our first slide so that's what we will do here 
so for that what i need actually i need to make sure that first of all we don't have any slider or we need to make every slider display none so how we can do that we can say that slides dot for each and name it slide and say that slide dot style dot not that style dot display will be the none so it will make sure that whenever we will click every slide no matter how much slide we have everyone will be display none so if i click next so as you can see that we can't see any single slide for because we did the for each loop and we loop all the slides and make display none and what i want now i want to say that only the next slide which will be the display flex or display visible so to make it happen what i need actually i need another variable so let index so it will keep tracking which slide we are in now so the first thing what we have now the index is zero means we are in now first slide actually so whenever i click the next we will increase the index so let's say that index will be index plus plus so we are now increasing our index and what i can say now the slide sorry slides and only the index will be style display flex so let's check it out if i click next as you can see that it's worked perfectly now we can see that our next slide is showing now here so let's also do it for our previous slide so if i duplicate this and say that whenever i will click our previous button we will run a function which is actually the prev slide and also let's make this function it will be a duplicate function of our next slide because it will do also similar work so previous slide and here what i need actually instead of this plus plus i need to decrease it so minus minus so if i check it out so let's go to the next slide working let's go to the previous slide also working perfect so what will happen if i click twice to the next slide so we are going to the third slide which is nothing because we don't have any third slide here so for that what i need to do is actually whenever i will click something like that the slide we don't have i will get back to our first slide instead of showing this blank page so for that let's say that here if our index is bigger than our slides dot length minus one so if it is bigger means the slide you don't have if it is increased something like that we will get back to the index equals to zero means the first slide so let's check it out one two now we are in the second slide if i click next we are back in the first slide so that's working perfectly so the next thing what i can do actually we can make similar thing for the previous button so let's say that if our index is lower than our zero means if it is something lower than zero i will get back to the index equals to slides dot length minus one if i now test it if i make a previous one we are now in the zero if i make previous one it should go to the first sorry if i make previous one it should go to the last slide instead of going minus one if i click it as you can see that it is working perfectly so that's what we have now we have the perfect slide going on here so looking good this slide as you can see that here 
so let's also try it and make another slide here so this is the slide number two and let's say that this will be the slide number three and we can change the name here so let's say that our fun and as you can see that for the initial state we have been a problem the problem is actually if I come here we are saying in our style.css the slide number two will be only hidden so let's say that slide three also be hidden for the initial state slide three will be also hidden as you can see that we now fixed it but it is not what we need to do so for that we can fix it by the smart way so for that what I can do actually in our JS if I can see that these lines if you can see this line is repeating itself also here as you can see so where I am saying that all the slide will be display none and the only the index slide means the current slide will be the display flex so that's what we are also saying here as you can see that's the same line so to make it simpler what we can do is we can make a function something like display and paste this text here inside this function and just we can see here and now what we can do is we can call this function instead of writing those lines and also we can do it here so now our code is looking much better so if I come here as you can see that it is also working this is our third slide our fun but what I need actually I don't want it to make it something like that we don't want to hidden manually something like as you can see I don't want it so uh, now as you can see that this will be the initial state but I don't want it but it is now looking good when I am clicking the next so to fix it what I can do actually if I come here in our index I can call this function and what I need to do actually I need to make a parameter here if I can see that the index it should be the parameter if I say that index so I need to make sure that whenever I will call I will pass this index here index here so it will work perfectly now and also what I want to do is whenever this page will load this function will be called automatically for one time so for that what I need to do is actually I need to say that display here and the parameter will be the index so whenever this page will load this display function will run automatically as you can see so whenever I will make refresh as you can see that our problem is now fixed so this display function will run once in the page load and what it will do is it will display hidden all the slides once and it will make sure that only the index slide means the current slide will display flex so this will solve the problem as we can see that so that's what we need as you can see that also our third slide is also working fine which is this r font slide so that's what for this video if you can see that our slide is perfectly okay for also the mobile and also the desktop version hope you guys like this video if you do please subscribe the channel for more front-end mentor and awesome video about web design and development so i will see you in the next video till then bye bye kodahafes